everyone. I'm Sharon Vaknin for CNET.com, and I'm here because we need to have a serious talk about Facebook. Criminals are getting really good at tricking you into clicking links to fake apps, like ones that promise to show you exactly who is viewing your profile, which will never happen, by the way. And then what happens is you click that link, and depending on what kind of scam it is, you can get a computer virus or spyware, your passwords can get stolen, hackers can extort money from you, or you can turn into one of the annoying friends who unknowingly post spam on other people's walls. Don't be that person. Usually, people get Facebook malware because they fell for a spammy wall post, message, or group. I always know it's spam when I get sent a weird link from someone who I never talk to. So if you're the least bit suspicious about a link, don't click it. Hover over that post with your mouse and click the X. In that menu, click Report as Spam and Facebook will take it from there. You can also do this if someone posts spam as their status. Sometimes it'll look like a normal status that says something like, did you hear Facebook is finally getting a dislike button? And then there will be a little link at the end of it. Again, don't click it, especially if it sounds too good to be true. A lot of spammers will post shortened links using services like Bitly so that you can't see the URL until you click it. So if you ever see a shortened URL, go to expandmyurl.com, paste it there, and you'll get a safe preview of the link. And then, if you find out that it is spam, hover over the post, click the X, and mark it as spam. Another way you can get in trouble is if you install a malicious app. Sometimes you don't find out until it's too late, and the app has used your account to spam other people or add weird things to your profile. If you think you've installed a bad app, head to Facebook and go to Account, then Privacy Settings. Then go over to Apps and Websites and click Edit Your Settings. And then hit Edit Settings again next to Apps You Use. Now you're finally at the page where you can delete apps. Just click the X next to any app you want to delete. And while you're here, delete apps you don't use because they probably have permission to access your personal information. Now, if it's too late and your account has already been hacked or you think you might have malware, there are a few things you can do. First, change your password right away. You can do this by going to Account, then Account Settings. Just hit Change to change your password. Make sure it's different than all your other passwords because if a hacker steals your Facebook password and it works for your email account, he can use it to get into that too. Go to PasswordMeter.com to see if the passwords you're choosing are strong enough. A good password will have uppercase and lowercase letters, at least one number, and a special character, like a question mark. While you're in the account settings, go down to account security and hit change. Enable secure browsing so that third parties can't hijack your Facebook session. Also, get notified if someone logs into your account from a location that Facebook doesn't recognize because someone could be logging into your account without you knowing. Changing your password only fixes one type of hack. Other kinds will install malware like spyware or viruses on your computer. Whether or not you think you have malware, you need to make sure you have an antivirus program. AVG is free and highly recommended by CNET. Also, make sure you're updating your operating system. Microsoft and Apple release security updates that fix vulnerabilities in your software. For Windows, go to Start, then head to Programs and Windows Update. On a Mac, go to the Apple menu and select Software Update. Now that your software is up to date, you've removed bad apps and fixed your Facebook settings, you're already a lot safer. Do everybody a favor and ask your friends to do the same thing. I seriously don't want to see another spammy update on my wall. Thank you, and I'm glad we had this talk. For CNET, I'm Sharon Vaknin, and I'll see you on the interwebs.